我的病人可以的话，都请他吃素，所有的动物都不要碰，包括蛋，包括奶。Hello, vibrant viewers, and welcome to this week's Healthy Living, featuring interviews with three esteemed physicians who will discuss the impact of diet on health, the damage to the body caused by consuming animal products, and the innumerable benefits of a plant-based lifestyle. Dr. Hiromi Shinya, a renowned gastroenterologist who practices in Japan and New York City, USA, is the inventor of the Shinya method. This is a non-surgical technique to remove colon polyps or growths on the surface of the colon during colonoscopies or the viewing of the colon using a long, flexible, lighted tube. Devised by Dr. Shinya in 1969, the technique remains a world standard for colon polyp removal. Dr. Shinya is the author of many books, including *The Enzyme Factor*, which has sold over two million copies in Japan. His recent lecture, *The Hiromi Shinya Way of Healthy Living*, attracted over a thousand attendees in Formosa, Taiwan. Dr. Shinya now explains the close relationship between diet and colon health. So that is one why I say that the、uh, diet has to be. Very, very important in order to keep us young, healthy, and live long. It's actually like a, the、uh, arteriosclerosis. It's like a calcification, hardening of the, the, the、uh, arteries. Things. It's really difficult to、uh, to return to the、uh, young age. But the intestinal muscle is very thick and firm. About the one year or two years. Right diet, one can、uh, change to a certain degree. Even the age ninety, if I change my type of diet for several years, so they can change.、Yeah. So the leaf is very narrow, and eat like a lot of、uh, like、uh, brown rice to five grain bread. You know?、uh, anything is not a refined food. Then this colon becomes much more softer, and then if you're eating a lot of meat, dairy products, milk, cheese, yogurt, which is also make a colon harder and narrower. According to Dr. Shinya, besides affecting colon health, consuming meat and other animal products can lead to life-threatening diseases, and recommends a plant-based diet. If somebody had、uh, breast cancer,、uh, colon cancer, or prostate cancer, these are more very high propensity to develop by the lot of meat diet, the four or five times a week, but the, the cheese. These people develop breast cancer and prostate cancer and colon cancer very easily. But Once they had the breast cancer surgery, prostate cancer surgery, whatever he had or she had, you know, it's corrected by doctors. But doctors don't think of the future, so they don't say that the okay, you have to stop meat and cheese and yogurt things. You know, at that point, then that the、uh, patient keep the same diet which uh, she she had、uh, in the past. So four or five years later, she could have another chance on the other side of breast. Dr. Wang He Ming of Formosa or Taiwan has been practicing medicine for over 20 years, has performed over 3,500 cancer operations, and is an expert in laparoscopic or minimally invasive surgery. He is also an authority in colorectal surgery, and as a pious Buddhist, has been vegan for almost 20 years. His personal motto is, "A vegetarian diet is good for health." Drawing from his extensive medical background and from current research, he shares the benefits of the plant-based diet with the public. According to Dr. Wang, the carcinogens found in meat are the root cause of many types of cancer. 
，不只是大肠子肠癌，全球的人类的癌症一直增加，最大的原因是环境污染。人类在这五十年来制造了很多致癌物，那这些致癌物会经由食物链的浓缩作用，最后浓缩在动物身上。那人类大量的吃的肉类就暴露在这个致癌环境，所以现在大肠癌当然最多，肺癌也是，肺腺癌、乳腺癌、色腹腺癌。那为什么跟肉类有关呢？肉类还有其他的不好，除了其他的那个我讲的。那个环境污染以外，肉类本身会致癌。肉类有两个，尤其是红肉、哈牛肉、羊肉，里面的氨基酸跟其他人不一样。有两个氨基酸很可怕，一个叫做左旋苯丙氨酸 l p h e l a n i n 一个是 creatine 基氨酸，这个在红肉非常的高。这种肉只要一加热，这种两个氨基酸加热就变成异环胺 （heterocyclic amine）， 这个已经证实是。致癌物，那大约一公斤的烤牛排，威尔当的那个牛排制造的致癌物，相当于六百支香烟呢、啊。一只烤鸡腿，威尔当大概八十支香烟的致癌物，所以你这样吃下来不得了、哦。第三是添加物，所有因为商业的考量，东西要保存，他们加了一个很可怕的东西，叫做硝酸盐。硝酸盐本身到我们的肠子以后，跟细菌作用会产生一种化合物，叫做 n i t r o s o c o m p o u n d 这个是最强的致癌物。所以什么饮食有呢？腊肉、香肠、火腿这一类的 ham 这些，加了很多亚硝酸盐。When we return, we'll learn more from another respected medical expert about the impact of diet on health. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. The balance of evidence is really a. B12 fortified whole foods, plant-based diet, absolutely without a doubt, is really the healthiest in terms of reducing chronic disease risk. Welcome back to Healthy Living. As we continue our program featuring three top medical professionals who are sharing their views on how our food choices fundamentally affect our health. Dr. Michael Greger is a physician, author, and internationally recognized speaker on public health, and currently acts as director of public health and animal agriculture for the Humane Society of the United States. Dr. Greger is an expert in clinical nutrition, and is the founding member of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. He now provides his perspective on the consequences of eating meat. Risks of consuming meat and meat products, as the typical people do in North America and most kind of Western countries, is the typical diseases that plague the Western world: the chronic diseases like heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, obesity. These are all diseases critically linked to what we put in our bodies, what we eat. And so, if you want to get Typical diseases, you eat a typical diet. If you don't want to get these diseases, then you need to eat more plant foods, whole plant foods, and less animal foods, less meat, eggs, and dairy. Some people believe that eating fish is healthier than eating beef, pork, and chicken, but Dr. Greger has serious concerns about fish consumption. The greatest concerns with eating fish are the industrial contaminants that have so polluted the world. Basically, all the fish that one can eat contains these toxic industrial pollutants like PCBs and dioxins,、um, heavy metals like mercury, which you know we've kind of spewed them. Whether it's a coal-fired power plant or industrial plastics production, everything eventually you know finds its way into the sea, and so our oceans have become kind of the sewers of humanity. The worst is actually farm-raised fish because they get fed fish from the oceans in very concentrated forms. So since food is a package deal and you can't get one part of the food without the others, we should strive to get all our nutrients from whole plant foods、um, as the healthiest source of our nutrition.
According to both the American Dietetic Association and Dietitians of Canada, two highly regarded organizations comprised of nutrition professionals in the USA and Canada respectively, the vegetarian diet is a very healthy way of living. For example, a recent article in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association states that vegetarians are less likely to be overweight or have type 2 diabetes, prostate cancer, or colon cancer than meat eaters. Research has shown that a plant-based diet can improve one's health. Cholesterol levels and blood pressure stay low when we consume animal-free products. Flavonoids and polyphenols, powerful antioxidants associated with reduced cancer risk, are found only in plant-based foods. Flavonoids are present in apples, broccoli, kale, and berries, while polyphenols are contained in lentils, berries, broccoli, parsley, and whole grains. 另外, uh, 很多, uh, 植物要多多吃，这个都是很好的抗氧化物。其实讲到最后，其实我们疾病都是因为自由基的关系。我刚刚讲的那些肉类，那个是外来的自由基，还有自己内部产生的自由基，这个一定要赶快把它，就是细